This is a phenol peel. Now, chemical peels come in all different types of strengths, from lunchtime peels, where you just kind of get a dusting of the acid on your skin, to a phenol peel, where essentially all the skin is burned off of your face, and you're kind of like a burn patient, and eventually grows back. That crusty stuff that you saw on his skin, that was his actual skin, the skin that was treated with the peel that eventually came off. Now, I don't do phenol peels because of how aggressive they are and the fact that you have a risk of cardiac arrhythmias if too much of the face is peeled at one time. So instead of a phenol peel, I usually recommend a controlled depth or a moderate depth TCA chemical peel. That is a lot easier to recover from. So on this video, I'm gonna to react to the top seven most extreme plastic surgery TikToks. That one was number seven. Here's number six. I'm sorry, this has to be addressed. How, how did this become this, become this, become this? By having way too much plastic surgery, that's how. So let's get a picture of her up over here and you can see just a few of the things that she appears to have had done. So the first operation she appears to have had done is a brow lift with a fox eye lift, possibly using threads, possibly some other treatment. And these are operations to basically elevate the brows. You can use little incisions in the scalp to do that. Here comes the smolder. Now I'm not a fan of this kind of fox eye movement and you can see how her eyelids are lifted and slanted upward. Some people have accused celebrities like Bella Hadid and Ariana Grande of having this procedure done as well. She also had an upper lip lift and you can see that scar at the base of her nose. I'm not a fan of this procedure in younger people, typically people under the age of let's say 60, because that scar can definitely be visible and there's always a risk of a keloid or a thick scar there and if you get that scar, you can't get rid of it. She also appears to have had her lips done, possibly fat injections into her cheeks, and maybe a facelift. This is a lot of surgery for an attractive younger woman. She looks fantastic afterwards, but just not my style. <laughs> What was that? Have you ever seen breasts this big? So you can see if we just put a screenshot of her there where there are those wrinkles in the middle of her breasts, those are called stretch deformities. And it's because her breasts are so huge, those implants are so heavy, that you're getting that skin stretching out and it can even create stretch marks on the skin. Now she is fairly famous for how large her breasts are and reportedly she enlarges them herself by actually injecting her breasts on her own. This is not something you should do on your own. More and more I've been seeing TikToks from plastic surgeons in Asia where they're doing these extreme facial operations on beautiful young Asian women. Doing these huge brow lifts, doing face lifts, adding fat into the cheeks, doing upper lip lifts, eyelid lifts, all these types of operations. And it really honestly, it saddens me because you can see actually in her photos before she underwent all this stuff, she had had a bunch of plastic surgery before that. I mean. How much is too much? I feel that my colleagues out in Asia are just going way, way, way too far. Have you ever had a micro-infusion facial? This revolutionary treatment is typically performed in med spas, and it utilizes specialized hollow gold needles to superficially inject all sorts of goodies into the skin. It's huge out in Hollywood as a way to instantly brighten, hydrate, and plump your skin. And now you can do it in the comfort of your own home. This is the Cure Microinfusion Facial System, and it's the closest thing that you can get to bringing your esthetician home with you. The treatment starts by pouring an ampule of skin-enhancing serum into the device. The microinfusion comes with two serums. 
the Hydra Smoothing System, which is intense hydration with beta-glucan, and the Rejuvenating Serum, which reduces wrinkles with EGF. Then you leave it upside down for two minutes, allowing the serum to enter those tiny needles. Each needle is thinner than a hair, which makes this treatment almost painless. Now, while this is happening, you should wash your face and your hands, and then you start stamping. Now the tiny needles will penetrate your skin by about 0.5 millimeters. And so it's safe, unlike dermal rolling, which can cause tearing of the skin. The Cure Microinfusion Facial System comes with disposable needle heads, and this reduces the risk of infection because each one comes in new sterile packaging. For best results, overlap by 50% and repeat the treatment two to three times. Then apply any leftover serum overnight so that your skin can benefit from those skin enhancing ingredients. The treatment is easy to perform and takes only five minutes. You'll see an immediate change and performing it regularly can give you lasting results. So check out the Cure Microinfusion at cureskincare.com and see your skin instantly plump and brighten. I give it my Dr. Yoon stamp of approval. So is this real? Her name is Sehar Tebar, and she's from Iran. And several years ago, she made a huge splash on Instagram, got upwards of a half a million followers because of her extreme appearance. And some people actually likened her to the corpse bride and said that she wanted to look like Angelina Jolie. Now, in 2019, after this kind of huge uproar and people complained to the Iranian authorities, she was arrested. And they arrested her on charges of blasphemy, instigating violence, illegally acquiring property, violating the national dress code, and encouraging young people to commit corruption. Her Instagram account was later deleted and she was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Reportedly, she ended up on a ventilator after contracting coronavirus, but fortunately she was released from prison several months later. And she actually gave an interview on Iranian TV and you can see this is how she really, really looks. She told interviewers that her childhood dream was to become famous and she used Instagram along with Photoshop and makeup techniques to create those appearances that you saw on this video. So what do you think about Sehar Tebar's just crazy experience here? I'd love to hear in your comments below. Anthony Lafredo, AKA the black alien is a man addicted to body modification. He has his ears, nose, lips completely removed. My man literally has a triangle carved out on his forehead. No, that's not a tattoo. But besides all the craziness that I'm already showing you guys, he recently got his two fingers, the last two fingers removed. This dude literally had doctors cut his last two fingers off, which to me is just absolutely absurd. I mean, this guy's super interesting to me. What drives a person to go to this level of body modification? And I mean no disrespect. Do what you want to do with your body. It just begs me to ask the question, what drives a person to go from this to this? So does he have body dysmorphia? Well, the Black Alien Project is fascinating. So after watching this and several other videos, I thought, well, why don't I create a separate video dedicated just to the Black Alien Project and my thoughts on it and exactly what he had done. After you watch this video, you can head over there, but basically it's linked right up here. Oi, boa tarde. Eu gostaria de pedir para os meus seguidores quem puder me ajudar porque eu tô precisando. Tá bom? Muito obrigada. Beijo. Tchau. What was that? Her real name is Juju Oliveira, but a lot of people call her Juju Dopix. She's a Brazilian influencer and transgender female. Now the story is, is back in 2017, she injected industrial mineral oils into her face. And supposedly she liked how it looked and so injected more of it. And after some time, that oil started reacting with her tissues and her face swelled up incredibly like what you're seeing in that video. Now in August of 2020, she ended up actually crowd raising money to try to help remove all of this stuff from her face. And there were multiple websites and social media sites that helped to basically promote her message. 
However, a few months later, some of the people who donated money to her started accusing her of using that money that they donated to buy a motorcycle and other types of non-surgical corrective things. So now she's become a bit of an internet meme in Brazil, and as you can see, this is some pretty extreme plastic surgery. So now you know I'm a real plastic surgeon, and I don't do these extreme types of things, but I do do certain things even on myself. Take a peek at this TikTok video. Oh, don't you get... Dr. Yoon? What? Never mind. I don't know why she never knocks. So these are the most extreme plastic surgery TikToks from number seven to one, but how about the most botched plastic surgery TikToks? Take a peek at that video right up here, and remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and auto-juvenate before you operate.